the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you for joining the video for today. We have some exciting news guys. So before we dig in, do not forget guys to have a decent wallet or a ledger to put on your XRP funds because this is the most important thing right now guys because we are getting very, very close to crazy stuff happening. Crypto Law, June 14, 2018. Hinman comments on his own speech moments after giving it. The speech was given because the chairman and the SEC government felt they had to be clear and transparent and give guidance about ETH. His words verbatim. Let's, let's take a look and at And the SEC has been following this area carefully. They've been watching developments. Um, I think we've been careful not to react too quickly or to overreact to things. Uh, and we, in the case of Ether, as we see it develop, as we interact with market participants who are engaged um, in Ether transactions, you know, we g keep gathering information. And at some point we say to ourselves, well, this is something that we should make clearer uh, in its current state. We don't see value regulating it. So we're trying to be uh, transparent and practical as we uh, provide more guidance. I think, uh, the so he's talking about providing guidance while ripple was asking for clarity for a very very long time now you can clearly see what's going on here guys xrp is on the verge of a bullish surge as network activity soars now guys network activity on ripple is really really a lot in late march the sixth largest cri largest cryptocurrency by market size soared by 230 percent signaling the end of a consolidation trend then at 60 cent xrp reversed to the neckline so here you can see guys that the volume is really increasing xrp is currently trading at 1.11 up two percent from its previous high coin ha has a market value of 52 billion and a 24 hour trading volume of through 3 billion so it's really a lot guys can you see look at that look at that candlestick it's really getting a lot right now and there is a lot of attention on xrp and ripple at the moment to understand where xrp is headed next it is necessary to wait for a prolonged candlestick close outside of the 172 to one dollar price range after breaking through the 117 resistance xrp could resume its upward trajectory towards the new all-time highs which it definitely will very soon so guys for the people that are interested on linkto you can literally buy ripple sh uh, shares so for the people that want to actually invest in the company ripple not just in xrp the digital asset which is two different things because when Ripple goes on the NASDAQ and when they really go and uh, have an IPO, they will really go uh, up. So you can already invest in shares on Linkto. Just wanted to share that for the people that are interested in that, guys. So here we have, is there any logic behind the SEC going after Ripple and not Ethereum? Now, of course, there is no logic because the logic is that there is corruption. We already know that. But let's take a look what AMB Crypto is saying. The logic of the agency's case is that the company's Ripple infrastructure is still being built out. So XRP, the token which was used to finance the thing, is considered a security. Now, guys, stay for the whole video. I will show you a video where Gary Gensel is literally saying with his own words that XRP is a currency, which is so weird. But I will show you. On the contrary, the belief is that Ethereum's infrastructure is totally built out and has been for years. Thus, it's clearly a commodity, which is bullshit because we know that Ethereum, so the company or the, the team behind it, literally funded everything with the ICO. So it's basically the same thing. That is the reason why the SEC sees XRP as an unregistered security. Now, we know that that's not correct. Based on my reporting, I think the SEC enforcement case against ripple brought by jay clayton was less about his current work now than him deferring the S to sec enforcement staff etc and bringing the case to protect regulatory turf versus cftc on cryptocurrency is known to bow to staff concerns doesn't mean it's a good case in fact protecting turf is a symptom of the haphazard way cryptocurrency blockchain is being regulated and why we need consistency immediately or we will get our clocks cleaned on this technology by China. Now, there is some 
true to that like giving clarity is a good thing because there will be a set of rules where people can buy uh, cryptocurrency safe and not being hurt but uh, considering XRP as security is a very bad thing and it's really halting innovation. Let's take a look at this video. It's quite interesting. I'll just leave this here. We've been very much engaged with the SEC on a number of fronts. One of them being uh, Andreessen Horowitz reached out to the chairman when he made a speech at Stanford saying, we're going after the lawyers, we're going after the accountants. And sat down with him and what the chairman of the SEC said was, look, form a small group working group and come up with some suggestions. Uh, pretty much saying, look, we're tired of talking to people about the Howey test. Uh, put some real practical suggestions together. So Andres and Horowitz, together with uh, Union Square Ventures, sat down with three law firms, McDermott, Will and Emery, Perkins Cooley and Cooley, all of whom had a fairly significant crypto practice, uh, together with two academics, Joe Grunfest and Adam, uh, as well as NVCA. And we sat down and came up with a safe harbor that we felt we could, in fact, suggest to the SEC that they start their thinking in that direction. And we submitted that. Perkins Cooley did a memo. It, you know, and if any of you don't have those materials, just let me know. I can email them to you. They were supposed to be confidential and submitted to the SEC. Within days, they were public. Uh, in fact, as the newspaper reporters were calling me, I'm going, oh, my God, <laughs> you know, how did that get out? Uh, and all of us were immediately reaching out to Andreessen Horowitz saying, we didn't send it to honest. Uh, so, but the really valuable uh, work product at this point, because, and the reason I mention that is uh, Director Hinman's speech that I'm sure everybody at least is familiar with or has heard about, most of what he says in there came out of the safe harbor as well as the meetings that we had with him. So, so here you can clearly see that they actually gave them clarity for a while and then they stopped it's really really weird what hinman is doing right now as i continue to report what's fascinating about sec enforcement on ripple coinbase is the feds are giving these outlets which have embraced regulatory dialogue more scrutiny than they gave bernie madoff every industry needs regulations but there is a degree of overkill so even the senate even everyone is just saying that this is really madness what the sec is doing right now and you can see guys that we are coming to an end we just want a level playing field trumor ETH had an ico no penalty ripple did not have ico penalty even if ripple had ico why ETH free pass when there's was clarity more brazen videos and recordings we just want to know why see there is no clarity there is no framework there is nothing there's just speculations it's literally based of videos guys they literally put a ethereum free pass on videos and speeches i think we can see a big sell-off before xrp finally goes to new highs because gary gensler and all his sec news friends have to sell all their eth and btc before a settlement now this is what's going on guys if these guys have sold their eth and btc if they're cleared they can actually clear this case now this is what needs to happen and they're 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 just taking their time they need more time and that's why this is happening right now i have a plan brian armstrong if fiat backed stable coins really become inflation coins not so stable then how will we get a coin that is truly stable perhaps something that tracks a basket of reward goods purchasing power parity using oracles ideas welcome look at this xrp backed by gold done deal xrp solves so many problems guys and that is why we need it right now this one is for g c gasparino currency then security now you know how this is confusing retail investors and not protecting them look at this guys uh, a, a, a currency called ripple that you might hear in the banking sector is probably he literally said currency backed ripple 
currency. So he's this is the SEC chair Gary Gensler calling XRP a currency. Third, if I remember, currency called Ripple that you might hear in the banking sector. Currency called Ripple. Currency called Ripple. Currency. Now this is repeated and repeated and repeated. But you can find the official video where he was talking about Ethereum and XRP, and then he mentioned XRP as a currency. Ripple is back, advanced blockchain technology for global payments so financial institutions can expand into new markets. Now, this is the Ripple shares that I was talking about on Linkto. Excited to continue Ripple's momentum in EMEA with new customers and connection as Paydeck brings real-time payments to freelance and on-demand workers in Latam and Africa. Look at that, guys. Ripple continues to grow even with this madness going on, people really believe in this technology. And that is the most important. The utility will survive. It's a safe bet that if you ask Gary Gensler how to register XRP as a stock, it'll earn you a raid on your offices and millions of dollars in legal fees. But hey, everything is awfully, awfully clear, right? Gary, fire from Seeking Alpha. Now you can go and watch this, guys. It's really good. But uh, that was it for the video. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Cheers.